107. This is going to be a pre-show um, with my co-host, my wingman Warren Jackson, right next to me right here. Yeah, yeah. The creator and founder of the Music Corner and Slash Chronicles. Please go check him out on Spotify um, after the show. Um, so everybody, we're going to do a pre-show real quick. And we'll go ahead and get into the main. Uh, we're going to talk about um, uh, after the pre-show. We're going to be talking about topics of if our boy Andreas gets here, I want to get his take too on the aftermath of WrestleMania and this 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 crazy week of Monday Night Raw and SmackDown um, and a little bit of AEW that I've been catching on TikTok as well. So, uh, oh, and the, and the pre-show topic, everybody, is the pyramids. So let's go ahead, everybody, and get to the pre-show. Let's go. Oh, it's quick. Oh yeah, that was <laughs> that was really quick. You know what? Let's try that one more time, everybody. I, I you know what? It was so quick. I didn't even see the shit. Uh, wow. Let's try, yeah, let's try that one more time. All right, there we go. A we're little longer. It. We're getting it. All right, everybody. We are here live on Twitch. Once again, um, I've been seeing that we begin a lot of uh, more new viewers um, oh. here on Twitch. So okay. everybody, yeah, so welcome everybody. Um, this is uh, Mars Open Talk Podcast Experience with my wingman Warren Jackson. As uh, we did a small intro, um, as we didn't see the the little fast intro of the pre-show. <laughs> yeah. uh, that was hilarious. Uh, but yeah, dude, I, I I really wanted to talk about before we get into wrestling or just wherever it goes to on this open talker, because, you know, on the show, everybody, it will go everywhere and anywhere. Um, as as if you followed our podcast, as you heard or seen <laughs> where the show can go. Um, so what I've been uh, just I don't know what's what's been on my mind is uh, I want to get your take, Warren, is. Um, is the pyramid, bro? Of who do you think who that who built the pyramids? Um, very very interesting. Um, a lot of people say aliens, not aliens. Egyptians, strong Egyptians. Um, uh, give me your take on this, Warren, because I'm I'm very um interested about uh in your point of view. Oh, we got two views. Hey, everybody, thank you for watching. Welcome to the show. Um, um, that's the age-old question, you know. I mean, right? When you look at them for the way they were built, uh, to build them like that, I mean, that would <laughs> that would just take some serious ingenuity, you know. I mean, right? And as heavy as those, you know, uh, stones or slabs are or were. Right. Fuck. I mean, that's. I, I. I tend to lean more towards possibly an alien race. Right. But I, I don't know, man. I mean, that's. Uh, unless I get a hold of Doctor Who and I can <laughs> jump into TARDIS and go back in time. Um, I don't know. It is. It's. It's a puzzling question. Yes, but. It um, is. You know, I mean, like I said, for humans to to have built that or build them, no, man, that's uh, that's a whole hell of a lot of ass to be uh, putting those together, right? Like, you know, just uh, you know, just just thinking about it, because I don't know, like I was, and I not just the pyramid, you even got the Aztecs, y yeah. You uh, know, I mean, you know, I mean, and just thinking about. Everybody, thank you for watching, and thank you for still tuning into the show, everybody. Um, we're just talking about the pyramids right now before we get into the main show of wrestling, so just to let everybody know. Um, thank you guys for staying with us. I appreciate you guys. Um, but, yes, we're talking about the pyramids. Uh, but, yeah, dude, I, and I, you know, speaking of what you were saying, too, is, you know, e you know, even talking about, you know, like, you know, like the higher, I, I mean, not the higher, uh, what I can't really say, the, the hieroglyphics. If I'm saying that correctly, 
um like just that like do you think the egyptian wrote you know wrote you know wrote that as much as we learned in high school or just in school period that they wrote it i don't know man like i said it's uh it, it's a very interesting topic you know that you could uh argue for for to the end of time you know i mean um it could be even a hell of a debate you know i mean you, you just i don't know um right i think even the best scholars uh tend to argue on that you know i mean what is a definite uh defined answer you know i mean right you, you know who knows i mean yeah it's, it's uh it definitely brings up a good question you know no yeah like like for some reason like i was just really just um just really uh just trippy about the question and wanted to get your opinion real quick um, yeah just to, to, to you know to talk you know you know just to change just to change the subject a little bit before we sure. get into the show here you know you know we never really talked about uh something like that and i know on your show um you know tyler chronicles which everybody please check that out uh, oh, excuse you, me right you know, would you talk about uh um ghost and um entity uh entities and just your spiritual overall world, paranormal yeah you know, overall paranormal um stories uh please go check them out too after the show everybody it's the music corner slash slash chronicles go check my boy warren out here he talks about music and paranormal and it's a great show right please go please go check them out after the show um and you will find it and you'll find it on spotify and anywhere you get your podcast outlets speaking of spotify did you get your email about what? about by april 30th uh, you gotta sign in through uh spotify uh you know i've what? already done it yeah 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 i already yeah i, I already did that yeah yeah i did that like a couple months ago but yeah that's... they just um hit it i guess hit up everybody again yeah i did yeah i i did do it already um but uh real quick while we're doing like the pre-show thing here yeah, go ahead, you already man. go ahead and uh uh push and promote my friends um god it's about his third album that's out go ahead all right let me grab it here go ahead got a little let's got get you. the i'll put got up some, got some shout outs to do go ahead man. So, show them some love this is uh he goes by the name policy and that's p-o-l-i-c-y mm -hmm. the album features Manella. the song is lights out the single the right. official release on the album is on all platforms but it is going to be may 7th 2024 so zero five zero seven two four okay. and that's on all platforms and the album is going to be released like i said on all platforms all platforms everybody all and that's policy featuring lanella lights out motherfucker there so. you go all day but, yeah so he sent me uh uh a text message about the album being released so i uh i knew he wouldn't care but i asked him if he didn't mind if uh right. went ahead and pushed it on the podcast and he was stoked about it so well, that's cool sweet yeah so hopefully all is well um his parents uh had started the band cleveland back in cleveland where i'm from Okay. And uh, they're in the Hall of Fame. So oh, wow. Congrats. Yeah. Yeah. In the hood. So congratulations in the Hall of yeah. Fame. Um yeah, dude. Um yeah, it just I've been um I, yeah, I don't know about just the pyramid, dude. I yeah, I don't I don't know uh that's yeah, I, my mind. I caught uh there was something on one of the um internet or no, i'm sorry the internet uh one of the cable channels like uh travel or discover or something like that but they had like a, a, a um a pyramid program and at that moment and uh yeah it's it's just um i don't know man it's 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 that like i said 
it's that question that uh can linger on forever you know no yeah straight up you just you just don't know uh if there's uh you know uh, a, a guaranteed definition or an answer you know i mean it's hard to say yeah like uh just yeah i would just yeah i, I just wanted to get to your point of view but so, sure. so so you know so and just in your point of view so i mean to me i think aliens i mean i mean you know nobody... i mean you know, when they talk about the writings on the wall and you know uh the cavemen or uh even the egyptians back then the you know the drawings that they had on the wall were of a saucer or like uh you know even planes you know they had a winged bird you know i mean so just who the fuck knows man i mean it's it's uh it's an interesting uh topic for sure yeah um like just from because you know because the pyramids are high and they're perfect bro like they're perfect you know lined up triangle i mean um you know it's just uh it's insane of just to think um, oh, yeah. just a or something like it's insane um uh um a little swerve here real quick um was it you uh you uh you text me right now like you said it's 420 uh yeah. do you uh do you have some gummies with you or what i got a fucking shit move but i didn't i hadn't taken it i've been out of my boots and uh my um ace bandage wrap for probably about an hour and a half now just letting my my foot uh air out and uh just uh be free of the ace bandage in my boots oh okay okay so yeah so long, i uh so so how long do gummies last bro like when you get them like do they have a like do they last for well it very you know um as far as um uh, duration of um you know like freshness uh i've had a few that have lasted a while you know um right. yeah yeah like matter of fact i got some up there from like last year you know november yeah. December or whatever oh, but wow. they're in a glass seal so oh okay pretty much stay fresh okay damn that's where like yeah. uh like one day if we ever go visit back to AZ, I'll definitely let you know. Um, <laughs> I'll definitely let you know if we ever go uh, back to our old home, back to the AZ. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't, I don't miss the weather, but I miss it out there. Um, yeah, you know, it's about how I am, like with, uh, you know, with like California. You know, I'd love to live there, but I just can't afford it, man. Um, yeah. You know, I love San Diego. Right. Um, I didn't mind uh, Oxnard and Ventura area. Right. You know, it was pretty nice. Um, L.A. wasn't bad. It just reminded me of Cleveland and all. You know. Right. Big busy city. Um, oh, yeah. I did love West Hollywood though. I had a great time in uh, West Hollywood. Uh, yeah. Sherman Oaks was, you know, it was, it was all right. Okay. Um, cool, yeah. I enjoyed looking like a thug walking through Rodell, though. You know, I mean, so <laughs> it was hilarious, man. That is we went crazy. into uh, went into a Rolex store there and shit, and they were casing us and shit, and oh, really? You know, a uh, that's crazy. They pretty much, pretty much trying to tell us that you know we had to go, and uh, my uh, my partner I was with uh, from cleveland that came out here to arizona for my 50th at the time we took me to to los angeles and all that shit and uh he's the one that had an inheritance of uh a few million you know so oh wow we went out there and that guy was talking shit to us about a rolex and uh my friend just threw a fist money you know just a fistful of money down and goes i could buy any fucking watch in this store so you know he's like you're gonna shut the fuck up and treat us with respect and i was like oh, all right you know big baller hey no damn 
So, but yeah, you know, it, it was funny just watching people looking at us because he was all, you know, leathered out, had his Harley Davidson shit, you know, and so. Right. Yeah, we uh, we look like a bunch of you know hoodlums, whatever. <laughs> hoodlums. But um, I didn't. Whoa, we lost him, everybody. Hold up, we might. We, yo, you there? Oh, okay. Are you there? You talking about me or Fat Boy? No, you know you because uh because for a second like you were talking and it just went straight up Matrix for a second. Oh wow! Oh no! <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I was just making sure. Um, but yeah, dude. I know. But yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I do miss the AZ, miss it back home. But uh, you know, everybody's here. I mean, everybody's here. I mean, even though I right. don't, I don't visit everybody still as much as I thought I would. Right. Uh, you know, but it just, uh, you know, everybody's off on weekends, bro. Like, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not off on weekends. So, yeah, um, you know, I'm off during the week. And so it's like, um, I'm, I mean, if, uh, if I do have hours, you know, I'll, you know, you know, I'll go ahead and put some in and, you know, you know, and have like a four day weekend. Uh, yeah. You know, cause you know what, dude, it, it is nice. Um, working four tens and being off for three days that's awesome oh hell yeah yeah it, it's awesome it makes sense uh yeah i uh i used to work for uh praxair back in ohio the medical and industrial gas company and uh we used to you know we used to work like 312s and then uh on the fourth day we can opt to work or we could uh come in on like friday work a couple and then come in on saturday and uh work a couple and do inventory and shit you know so right, yeah those yeah. thursdays like that's nice yeah it is dude like it's just uh it's just to me like i think it's just to me i i think it's just better yeah it's just more better and it's to me like i you know I think it just works out just having more time being off relaxing um you know do what you need to do um yeah dude and to, to me i think it's just it, it's just more easier that way to me yeah it's uh, you know it's like i said now i uh i've enjoyed not working for a long time but i do miss making money you know no, yeah, no, I, so. I, no, I don't, yeah, dude, I don't, I don't blame you, um, yeah, if, you know, having, having circumstances and stuff, stuff like that, and, you know, and on, on some, no more salary, and then you're just used to making what you're used to making, you know, it, yeah. uh, you know, it makes a difference, you know, because you're budgeting oh, God, more, yeah, you know, you're fucking budgeting more, you're, um, you I mean, you're just pretty much budgeting of yeah of, of everything else um and more cautious of what you should and should not buy or but either way you know no. we still have those no matter what you know like we still have those cheap days like fuck it we're gonna go get it anyway um, yeah you know what i mean like i uh i broke down and bought this uh ac unit okay that's good you know how it's, much uh, uh, um what so it's like uh so it's a portable or you had to make a room yeah it's like a portable window? um on the on the ground floor okay that's cool does it yeah does, it got, i mean does it work it, pretty good yeah you know i mean it uh i got it right now on it's on 74 74 degrees and it's got uh uh the air vent that goes like a like a dryer vent that goes out the window oh yeah 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 so okay and uh it's got a a sleep mode uh a 12 hour timer um it's got three different modes on it oh damn you know how much, so how much how much how much did you uh how much did you spend on it taxes and all on amazon it was 229. oh wow okay that's not bad no and it's an that's 8 000 btu no, um actually. it cools off uh up to uh 250 square 
Oh, okay. Um, nice. I didn't get the one that was 500 square only because my damn house is only 385. So, right. Um, I don't worry about the back room. Um, from the kitchen to the bedroom, it's always nice and cool. So right. I'm not worried about that. You know, it's the dining room, living, and kitchen that's hot as fuck. So yeah, <laughs> I uh, god damn, she got some nice tits. Um, <laughs> and you get it here, everybody uh, here at Moral Open Talk here. Yeah. Um, so it's a uh, it's a nice white uh, unit about. Uh, uh, la, 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 um, maybe not quite, but about maybe close to almost three foot tall. Oh, okay. okay. Um, it, it's got uh, the coasters built in and uh, built in handles, um, washable filter. Oh, um, nice. you know, so yeah, I've had it uh since uh Friday, so we'll uh. We'll see. Uh, you know, so far it's uh, it's holding up. No, oh, that's Doing good. Well. And, okay, and you got it when? Last Friday. Oh, nice. Okay. So you just I'm just it. trying to avoid throwing on my AC and shit. You know. Yeah, I know. We're gonna we're gonna put ours on on Friday. So uh, tomorrow, um, I need to um, actually maybe later today if I have time. But either or, it doesn't matter. In the morning, I'll go ahead and. Uh, spray the uh, spray uh, spray the, um, the air, spray the air conditioning and stuff before we turn it on. So, um, but yeah, so we're trying not to yeah. turn on either. Um, now, question over there: since you live in the AZ, is it is it raining over there? Is it cloudy out there? Shiny? No, it's sunny as hell and very very breezy. Okay, yeah, out here it is. I'm looking out my window right now, it is cloudy. It is cloudy out here. Yeah, it it's like, like 81 here. Oh yeah, it looks like it's it's gonna rain, but it's not gonna rain, so it's kind of in that 50 50 Ball chance, park. I think. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Um, you know, since we're here at the pre-show, um, well, well, I mean, you know, I told our, um, I told our third, um, our, um, our third uh, co-host Andreas that he can come in whenever he wants, and we'll just go ahead and start. Um, and then whenever he jumps in or if he doesn't, whatever, um, yeah, we'll back, you know, we'll go back and ask him, uh, we're going to back and ask, you know, ask him the questions, um, uh, when we get to it. But before we get out of this pre-show and start with the wrestling talk, is there anything else you want to, uh, you have any questions to ask me that's been on your mind? My, you know, like my point of view, um, I, I, I wonder who farted first, Adam <laughs> or Eve? <laughs> That's the question. That's right there. That's yeah, the maybe Eve because she ate from the apple first. I don't know. <laughs> oh shit! Could have been Lucifer. Um, who knows? Oh damn. Um, hey, do you have edibles close to you, or they're away from you? Uh, they're over my refrigerator. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Because, because, because I was gonna say if you maybe eat one or two, I'm going to start. Oh, we're, there'd be no eating two. Yeah. If I okay, ate well, two, one. it'd be okay, just so like. One. Okay, well, okay, well, maybe just half then, or maybe just one then. Because if I ate, I got one that'd be like a ten milligram, that would make me kind of giddy and goofy, like a little, you know, junior high girl. Hey, um, that's fine. That sounds kind of hot. Hey now, <laughs> uh, I got too much hair to be wearing a skirt. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, but uh, just don't call me Shirley. <laughs> All right, man. I tell you, I've been on that Facebook dating thing. Oh, really? More guys hitting on me. <laughs> I, I just, I don't know. Wow. Um, no. Um, actually, you know what? My, um, uh, my good uh, coworker uh, friend uh, is doing that too as well on Facebook, and it's like, man, you know what, dude? Um, I'm kind of curious what it would be if they. You know, if we had that back then, more. Oh, uh, right. Uh, yeah. Like, because I'm pretty sure it probably would have been a whole different situation. Uh, yeah, it's a. Uh, or a good story to tell. It's quite interesting, man. I, like I said, I got. So you, so you, I, you, I got, got, you got more guys, huh? you said, for real? 
Hell yeah, man. I had an 81-year-old man fucking hit on me. I'm like... I mean, you put... I mean, you put straight, right? <laughs> yeah, I thought, you know. I mean, I don't... Uh, I don't know what the hell's going on. I got... I think trannies, I got trannies. I got gay men. I got women. I got bi women. I mean, wow! Just, you got to make sure you double check your profile, my boy. I'm like, my God, you know, I don't, I don't mind having a variety of friends, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I no. Mean, I mean, uh, how are you doing? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Very, very interesting, uh, dude. Uh, oh yeah. I mean. <laughs> I'm flattered. Don't get me wrong. Well, yeah, of course. You know? Yeah. I mean, I mean somebody I mean, at I'll least be... thinks I'm cute. Right? <laughs> Shoot. Yeah. You, sexy, you sexy bitch, you. As uh, Buffy told his wife, you know, <laughs> you better treat me right. Mr. Mercedes <laughs> likes me. <laughs> that was funny. Um, uh, before we get into the show real quick, um, I do want to let everybody know that who watched uh, my last episode, um it was with my uh my new co-host uh sam um that i mean i know sam since i started uh working at uh, uh when i i'm mean, actually me and sam met at kinko um warehouse out you know out here oh wow okay and so yeah so we met and we uh you know we're just really really good friends like he came to my uh you know he came to my birthday party you know we uh, you know you know i met his i met his fiance like I mean, we knew. I mean, I mean, you know, we, you know, we knew each other for a good, good couple months now. Uh -huh. um, I would say maybe like more. I would say more than six months, um, uh, give or take, or just, or just pretty much when I started there, which is pretty a, a while now. Uh -huh. uh, I, I don't want to think over too much, but I'm thinking probably five, five, five and plus months. I'll, I'll just say that. Um, but it was a great podcast. I want I want to say sorry to everybody that's that watched it. I know when everybody's seen it that I know it's it's really echoey. So I should have catched that. Um, I was hoping when we were doing it live just like this that yeah it was gonna sound how our podcast sounds really good all the time. Uh, mm, some I, of the time we've had some we've had some that have been pretty uh, pretty bad. No, yeah, but, but I'm saying you, like, you don't really realize it till later. Yeah, but I, yeah. you know, you know, I should have realized it when we were actually doing it. How it really, really sound pretty bad. Oh, but okay. It, but it, but it was a good podcast, man. Like I'm, I feel so. I mean, maybe it was the internet connection because I'm thinking it's the internet connection, or maybe it's just the echo. But, but it's funny because you do it on your phone and you sound great, and he did it on his phone. And every time I talked, it was just like whatever I said, you know, you can hear it, like stay hear it really good oh, wow. on, and hear it on the yeah. other side of you. So if I said hello, I would be able to hear myself hello, you know, on your side. Oh, okay. So just imagine saying that me, us just talking right now, like just me echoing like crazy as fuck. Like, yeah, you get a lot of, a lot of. yeah, there you go. Yeah. So I want to say everybody sorry. Um, next time I would definitely, before I post it on um, on uh, Spotify, I'll make sure that we don't sound bad. I'm um, sorry for the last episode, but it re it was a really good episode. We talked about some funny shit. We talked about movies, uh, uh, shit. We just pretty much just shoot the shit. Um, uh, it was really fun. It was like almost three hours long. No, oh, uh, wow. Uh, almost, I think. Yeah. Uh, but um, but yeah, dude, uh, it was really fun. Sorry, everybody, for the audio. Um, I will make sure to make sure before we go live to test out everything. I know we we're testing everything out in the beginning, but um, I I I, I kind of heard it in the beginning, but I'm like I kind of just ran with it. So and maybe it just probably would go away. But uh, my bad, everybody. It was my fault. Um, the damn beginners. Um, yeah. But yeah, um, shit. Well, I guess um, if he does join, um, he d he does. Um, let me Damn it! See. I got a glare. You have a glare on your TV? Yeah, actually, I got the NFL draft on. Oh, okay, okay. The draft is going I got on. Breaking right now. news in the corner, and I can't see it. Oh, you can't. 
No, because there's a glare from my patio. Oh shit. Uh, let me see. But it's uh two minutes away from the beginning of the draft. Oh, okay. Um but yeah, but I was gonna because Sam was telling me if, if I ever go live, you know, to, to you know to to have him uh, join the show, because um, yeah, you know, yeah, I mean, you know, he's like us, you know, we, you know, we pretty much shoot the shit too, but we, you know, you know, you know, we talk about oh, what we what we love to talk about, um, you know, we like to get his point of view on different things, because uh, you know he likes fishing, he loves, uh, he has like three boats, um, yeah. that he, you know. Yeah, he has. Yeah, he has three yeah, boats. As soon as you mention fishing, what? <laughs> so as soon as you mention fishing, that's a straight up white boy. <laughs> Actually, um, um, he uh, he's in construction. Um, white his brother, boy. Uh, his brother works on uh, works on cars uh, and details white and boy. everything. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, so uh, um, it was it was great. It was fun. So, um, that's good. But yeah, dude, we had a blast on there. What up, everybody? Thank you for joining the show. Thank you guys for uh, watching. Uh, Sam, if you're watching right now, if you want to join in, um, let uh, text me if you're on if you're home already or what. Um, I know he gets home around this time in construction. Um, so yeah, that's yeah. a hell of a job, though. I'll just say that. No, yeah, it is. Yeah, cause, yeah, yeah. It's uh really um. Yeah, hold on. Give me one second here. Fine, everybody. Give me one second. Let's see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I got little chills. Chicago's about to go on the clock. Oh, so what's going on in the draft right now? Since you're watching it live. Uh, pretty sure they're talking it up before it starts. Okay. So so no drafting right now. What's going on whatsoever? Uh, not of yet. Oh, okay, okay. But okay. Uh, they're just talking about the what they feel or think teams should or might or may do, you know. So Okay. Yeah, the Chicago I... Bears have the first draft. Oh, okay, okay, sweet. Just keep us well, just, just, keep, just keep us updated. Uh, this is the first time that the draft is in uh, Detroit. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh shit. Okay, first time for everything. Right. But I, I, I went, I went and go ahead and told uh, our new co-host Sam if he wants to join the show to to let me know, and he'll he'll you know he'll jump right in. Hopefully, it, hopefully it's not echoey. Um, so yeah, so we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, so we'll, let's just go ahead and get into show, everybody. We're gonna talk about wrestling. We'll talk about well, uh, we didn't know if our other co-host Juan Jerez was gonna join us, uh, doing the show. But um, uh, what was it? Um, let's see. Oops. Uh, we're gonna jump into the show let me okay there we go let me go ahead and take this off for a second all right, all right we'll talk about smackdown and raw what's going on here right, everybody so we're gonna go ahead and start with wrestling we're gonna talk about smackdown monday night raw what's going on with the show the new bloodline everything so please everybody oh, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna get into the show and see how it goes and see what and see what we think about what's going on in the world of wwe of the new era of triple h so everybody let's go ahead and start the countdown for our live show now i kind of like this <laughs> show stuff, dude uh, you know what this, this is pretty different so no okay i want I, I to try something different so everybody, let's go and start with the countdown and start to talk about wrestling. And let's get into the show, everybody. Let's go.
And here we are, everybody. The pre-show is over. We heard we are here on episode 107, everybody. Um, I'm your host, Mario. As you all know, if you haven't cast a pre-show, my co my co-host, my wig man, Warren Jackson, the creator and founder of the Music Corner and Slash Chronicles. If you haven't seen or heard um his uh his podcast please come listen to it on spotify he talks about music and he talks about uh paranormal uh stories so please go check him out after the show you can find him you can find him on spotify or anywhere you you find your podcast outlets and everybody we're here we're gonna start the intro right now i'm your host mario welcome to the show everybody tomorrow's open talk podcast experience um so dude the road of wrestling is uh the new era is here with Triple H, um, as you know, as he calls it, our era. But, right. but to me, and maybe you will agree that to me, I think it's Triple H's era. <laughs> um, I, yeah, but I mean, he's pretty humble about it. So yeah, he is. He is. You know. Uh, but yeah, or but yeah, dude, it is really crazy. So everybody, let's go ahead and get into the 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 podcast and let's start with the intro. You know, I made an intro for all three of us, um, but we'll go in and start. You know, just start. slacking. <laughs> I know, Andreas. Come on, Andreas. Uh, we're slacking, my boy. But you know what? Just you know, just you know, just for us being a good Samaritan, we'll go in and play uh, the intro I made for this episode for all three of us. Even though you know, I hope maybe it might pull them in. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Uh, the good vibes. <laughs> so everybody, here it is. Let's go again to the show. Let's go. Well, that was really quick, right? Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Are, I didn't even have time to wet my ass. <laughs> right? Oh, shit. And you know what? Let's try it again, everybody. I, that, this, you know, it could be the lag on the internet. Who knows? Let's try it again, everybody. Let's go. There we go. There we go. That was nice. Sounds better. I think the second time is always better. Um, but everybody, welcome to the show. Welcome to Mars Open Talk Podcast Experience. Welcome to the show uh, with my co-host, Wingman Warren Jackson, as you all know. Um, so we're here at Triple H's era. Um, let me know, dude, your, your comments on just um, where it's going. Um, just your point of view man of where raw's going uh the storylines the new bloodline by the way um solo sokoa here um right you know, dude give me your thoughts on this because this is really uh well very interesting on this. because of the internet situation i got going on here i was unable to catch monday night so no worries. i don't know one thing that happened unfortunately it wasn't it wasn't really I mean, I love wrestling. I mean, you know we love wrestling, but um, just not so much interesting besides Becky winning the women's championship. Oh uh, shit! Okay. Yeah, she won it. So um, she won. No, uh, she won the battle royale. I did royale. catch NXT. Okay. But uh, I didn't catch NXT. Uh, yeah, NXT was pretty good. I didn't catch any AEW yet. Oh, uh, I do want to, and will. Right. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, my signaling out here has uh, been sketchy, kind of weak. Oh, really? Yeah. It's okay, man. You're getting there. I mean, you're already pretty much slowly hardwired, right? Uh, yeah, it's a slow process, but. But you'll get there, man. I know. I mean, it's it's it's, it's, it's better. It's convenience. So everybody, so. So please, everybody, stay with us. If we don't have, if we don't have a hundred percent connection, it'll probably be in a ninety percent connection, which is better than nothing. Um, better than two two percent connection. Um, but yes, yeah, so please, everybody, stay with us. If we lag a little bit, it could be me, it could be ours. Who knows? It could be internet period. Um, but yeah, dude, uh, give me your thoughts on SmackDown. Of, of, of what do you think? Uh, you know, we seen Solo here coming in the ring. Um, 
you know, him hugging him and everything. I knew that, uh, you know, with uh, Roman and in, in his, you know, uh, yeah. with his cancer and leukemia thing, um, uh, they were going to go some route, you know. Um, right. well, uh, it's going to be interesting, man. I'm, I'm still waiting for them to pick up either Nia Jax or some female. Right. You know, um, Tamika might be a little more aged, you know, a little older wise. I don't can't yeah. remember how old uh, she exactly is, but um, yeah, you know, I mean, it's uh, I, I, I still want to say I think they're going to uh, pick up one or two of the women. You know, I don't know who could right. be NXT, you know, what I mean, but. They're good. I, I feel they're going to get one of the uh, Samoa girls, you know. I mean, it's it, two and I, women. I mean, it's interesting. I mean, I kind of, you know, when I, you know, when I seen this, and I'm pretty sure you seen this too, is when this happened, and I knew something was going to happen. Oh, um, it was yeah, it was guaranteed. But I didn't know this was going to happen. Um, now, this is one of their their cousins or brothers. It's a cousin. Okay, another cousin. Okay, so. Yeah, so you know, jump, you know, jump Jimmy, which I, I'm thinking the Usos are gonna come back pretty soon together, um, to maybe maybe to fight them off down the road, um, and yeah, dude. So, um, cause he was he was was he on the Indies or NXT or because I never seen him before. Yeah, the Japan. Yeah. Oh, Japan. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. Um, I had a, I had a idea, but I wasn't too sure because I I've never yeah. seen him. I never seen him before. So, and they said he was uh, family related, so I wasn't too sure if he was one of the brothers or. Cousin. Yeah, no, he's uh, he's cousin. Yeah. Um. So very very interesting. Um. I know this week that uh, a few WWE superstars was released. Uh. You know. You know. A couple releases. Um, oh. Okay. Yeah, so um, I, I I wrote it down here. Um, uh, ha have you heard anything about the releases or anything? Um, no. Okay. Um, I know I saved it here on on your lovely um on your lovely uh Twitter uh, uh. information uh hashtag uh X. Um, see these names. Uh, I know. Um. Uh, what's her name? Um, shit, I I don't want to even say it wrong, but I know Jenner Mahal has been released by WWE. I, yeah, I heard Jenner Mahal, but you know I don't blame him because he, you know, it came back thick as shit, really ripped, and they didn't do jack shit with him. Well, you know, I mean, I mean, you know, I get it, um, but just I'm not saying what. It, you know, it just to me, bro. Like, uh, while he, while it said right here that, while well, there's two versions, either, either, either he got released, or it's saying that, that he quit. Um, I so, think he quit. I think, I think he put in his recognition, like I'm done. Yeah, you know, like, I mean, I mean, to be honest, dude, like. There's so many superstars, dude. Women and male and female, like, yeah. Um, I mean, there's so many. Of what's going on and what's interesting right now, and I mean, I don't see him in the mix, dude. Like, I don't really see him. Uh, I mean, yes, there is three hours and two hours on SmackDown or NXT or whatever, but right. I don't. I don't see him in any of those shows, even though if he was still. And the WWE, like, uh, just I don't know what it is. If maybe his persona, um, but just, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't really see a story that will fit him either right now. Like, uh, I, I'm, I saw, I'm sorry, I, I, I don't, I don't really see him in the picture. Period. Um, even though if he was still in WWE, like, I don't really see him. Oh, well, I mean, there's so much going on right now. Bringing the band back, but. Nah, I mean, Gender along with um, 
Um, God damn, I just hit uh, Drew. Yeah. Drew McIntyre, uh, since he turned heel, you could put those two together and kind of bring back two thirds of the band. But not make them goofballs, make them just straight up heels. Right. Could have been a tag team then, you know, I mean. Yeah, but there's so many now. Um, they're just. Yeah. Not, I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, not so many, but the same, but even some new ones. But even though, dude, there, there's so much going on in tag <laughs> team and main story, bless you. Um, I mean, if you Disney's. Um, I know it was a cough, but thanks. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, and they released, I don't want to say her name, but maybe you could say it better. It's uh, X I X I A L. Yes. Um, Zaya. Yeah. Zaya. She. Zaya um, Lee. Zaya Lee? Yeah. I, I, I don't know if she was released or she quit too. I don't know. Yeah. It's saying that she's been released. Pretty pissed by... off. They didn't use her. Yeah. She was really good. They should have. Yeah. And then I they mean, released... you could have put her along with the uh, um, um, uh, damage control. She could have been part of the Kabuka and you know, um, Ia Sky and she. You know, I mean, yeah, I, I mean that. You know. I mean, I mean, you know, I can, I can see her being in the damage control. I mean, I can see yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, it could have a stable of the Japanese women. You know, what I mean. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, and then they released uh uh I don't know, um I can't I don't wanna mess up his name, but um X Y O N um was it X Y O N uh Exxon Quinn was was it NXT? I think so, yeah, NXT, yeah. Oh. So it's uh, excuse me everybody, it's X Y O N uh and then the second part is Q U I N N. Um, huh. So I think it's from NXT. Um, Cause I, yeah, cause I, haven't, I haven't seen him. So um, yeah, three superstars have been released or quit. Yeah. Um, so, um, but yeah, but just to let just to let everybody know real quick, um, since we're in wrestling right now. Um, if anybody has bought WWE 2K24, I'm not getting paid, by the way, by saying this. I'm just giving shout out here. Um, um, just a reminder, if anybody bought WWE 2K24 in any edition, don't forget to redeem your code for Peacock for exclusive streaming. Peacock. Uh, right, Peacock. Um, for the exclusive streaming home for WWE um, US customers. Um, base customers only redeem one month of Peacock and finish your story. One um, month? One month. <laughs> yeah, one Those month only. Bastards. <laughs> so reminder that if you purchased and installed any edition of WWE 2K24 and logged in with your, your 2K account uh, prior to April 14th, 2024, mm, you have until uh, May 31st, everybody. 2024 to redeem your code uh email to to you for one month of peacock so everybody please redeem your one month if you purchase any of the wwe 2k24 editions one month woohoo um if you give up one nut <laughs> to get one month but don't worry Those everybody. Cheap bastards right but don't worry it's gonna be on netflix this coming January of next year, so don't worry. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be crazy, dude. I think it's gonna be just, um, you know, they'll be able to show blood, they'll be able to black it out like SmackDown does. Um, I, I mean, I to me, regardless of the rating, but I think Netflix is going when once they know they're they're on Netflix, they it, they're they're gonna step it up a notch, uh, just a It'll little more. Fucking. It's gonna be what. They're gonna be cussing. Oh, I'm telling you, bro. It's gonna be there ain't gonna be no black and white shit when they're bleeding, like on SmackDown. Um you know, I like it, dude. I mean, I think it's gonna be a different a whole different era by then. Uh of this storyline going in, the new bloodline. Maybe Roman might come back in, in the beginning of January. Who knows? 
to maybe fix the bloodline or him get into the story. Um, so many things can happen. Um, but yeah, dude, uh, this new bloodline thing and Paul Heyman tripping out like crazy here. Um, it's crazy that he still keeps in contact with Roman Reigns, um, even though he's somewhere chilling and enjoying his family time. Um, which is funny because I seen a picture on X, um, aka Twitter, um, that he was at Disneyland or somewhere around Disneyland. He, you know, he had a he had a Roku, uh, oh, a Roku. Um, he had a Gro- <laughs> he had a he had a Groku um, shirt on. You know, little Yoda and a Star Wars hat, or I think a Nike hat on. Uh huh. So he's enjoying his life right now, which he should. Uh, oh yeah. Enjoy, enjoy family time. Um, but yeah, dude, and this women's championship, but uh, uh, did you watch it? Did she was, oh, yeah, last Friday? Yeah. Yeah. But now, what do you think? Was it, I mean, I mean, I, I thought it was a really good match. Oh, almost all of SmackDown was really good. Right? It was, yeah. And yeah. Then, and um i thought i did this already um yeah um and cody Rhodes, uh and cody Rhodes, and um dude what do you think about aj styles and uh and um la la not yeah i just had a fucking uh, right of him you know I'm, I'm surprised he didn't win aj styles won yeah i uh i i honestly think they're gonna fuck la <laughs> I don't. I don't think they're gonna push him as they should. Right. Um. Yeah, dude. Just Rhea, you know, you know, vacating her championship and um everything, dude. It's it's insane. Um. Now when well, oh, that's right. Yeah, you didn't see Monday Night Raw. So right here, dude. Damian Priest and Finn Balor were talking in the back right here. Uh huh. And just to seem like, you know, something's going to happen. Maybe something's going to happen between the Judgment Day. Um, very interesting. Um, Sheamus came back as regular Sheamus. Yeah, I've seen Sheamus, yeah. Yeah, not a, uh, not the brawler Sheamus, which I didn't really feel. I mean, I like him as, you know, it, as this Sheamus. Yeah, here. the brawler thing was kind of funny, but it was yeah. it got old fast. It did, it did. Yeah. Uh, you know, you know, he gained you know, he gained some a little weight a little bit, but still has that muscle. Um he got comfortable being away. I mean I would too. Um so he won his first match. Now what I do, what did I say these couple podcasts ago? They need to change the tag team championship and what did they do? Right. What did they fucking do? What did Triple H the man? What did Triple H do? Change the championship logos completely. Oh yeah, I mean, dude, like, I love it, dude. I fucking love it. Like, I can't believe we have new Raw tag team champion, uh, new bouts and new SmackDown bouts. Oh yeah, I, I kind of like the new SmackDown bouts more than <laughs> yeah. Bouts. But then again, anything better of what they're holding right now on the side of them is the Raw. Um, kind of looking um, uh, Roman fucking tag team championship bouts yeah. of the three hundred. Um, but yeah, I do new tag team bouts. I I mean I like them. They're way better than what they have right now. Um, I would do. I was hoping this was gonna happen. Like maybe a little later, but hey, I love sooner than later. Um, right. Um, do you like how they look? Like do do you like it? Do you like how? I mean, I think it's just nice and simple. Right, yeah. And I don't know. I like them. I, I like them. They're really nice. Um, so I'm glad, like I said, everybody, if you've been watching the show, I've been saying this shit for a while. They got to change the tag teams, and they did. Um, just uh, just thank you, Triple H, for that. Because um, it needed a, a, a new fresh over for a new tag team championship outs. Oh, yeah. Um, so there you are, the Miz and R Truth. 
uh actually do good you know what you know they're you know i you know these are really good tag team uh mix random tag team like this is really good I, I like it i feel it um they're really good the miz is really good r2 is really good he the, R, you know r2 never really had that shine for like so many years he's been in and out of long the, time yeah long time he's been in just into small sketches funny sketches by the way but just not in the wrestling mix because he's talented he knows how to wrestle oh um, yeah yeah so just uh yeah so congrats to the miz and our youth um tag team championships and they first defended their chat their you know they defended their tag team championships uh monday against diy um really good match but then by the end of the match um it kind of looked like they were splitting up uh at the end of this match and then we had a Sami Zayn and chant and chad gable intercontinental they got to change the intercontinental championship now they got to give uh a new bout to Sami Zayn. Um, yeah because um i know this is pretty much a uh a kind of new bout still but still like this is still not a new bout um i don't like the design of it um yeah but uh Sami Zayn needs to shave his beard too i think it's over with um <laughs> he need he needs to shave his beard uh but it was a good match uh chad hey, gable is, <laughs> uh, Ch Ch chad gable is uh turning heel slowly yeah um, i kind of like it and ricochet and andreas bro like andreas was getting jumped um and ricochet came out so this tag team right here I like it. Potential. Um, very interesting. I like it. You know, me and you always talk about Ricochet. It's just one of the fucking amazing fucking wrestlers in wrestling. Yeah. Um, a high flyer, by the way. Um, which he was great oh, in. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was great in Luchador Underground on Netflix um, as, you know, as Prince Puma. Um, right. He was insane on that show um and seeing andre on you know and seeing andrade like he saved him so it was really cool to see to see ricochet and uh andreas uh i see andreas uh excuse me andrade <laughs> um and to show um you know what uh warren um you, you've seen smackdown right yes this past one yeah so i've seen that they're that triple h um or just the team period because i here we, i know it's a whole team effort um that they're they're changing they they change the heading of the like the like the main screen of raw and smackdown like they made it a little smaller not so big uh -huh. um, i seen that so um i think it's more easier for them to set up um but yeah, yeah. so so and then uh she's asking uh about of course uh his uh his brother jimmy and he said right. and he told and, and uh jay told her at the interview that you know i told him and he just looked down so cody rose and uh jay uso for the championship on um backlash and we have um was it we have damian priest and aj no no excuse me excuse me excuse me um cody rhodes and aj styles right am i correct i think i'm fucking up here um i'm messing up here i am messing up big time here um okay so it's cody rhodes and aj styles for the smackdown but i mean i forget since it, you know since the the draft is not here yet um so it'll be aj styles and cody rhodes for the championship in in france live on saturday may the 4th at 1 p.m easter time um so yeah so i don't know who's gonna fight damian priest uh you know what i think it is uh i think it is jay um i think it uh i think it is jay versus um jay versus damian priest on backlash 100%. oh thank you 
So yeah. So I seen that. Congratulating him. SmackDown. Here's a new tag. Uh, the new tag team SmackDown uh, titles here. You know they look. You know they look old school. You know the the the, the tag team titles here look old school here. You know, you know I like it. Mm. Right. You see that? Yeah, we got it. <laughs> hey, bro, they're better than the SmackDown ones they have now. Yeah, uh, way better. You know, you know. I I think this reminds me of the old school tag team championship bouts, but just uh-huh. uh, just uh, a newer uh, symbols and just updated version. Because uh, I did like the old school tag team championships before they turn <laughs> in, uh, before they turn into uh, the gladiator tag team bouts. Yeah, um, but yeah, I like them. Um, but yeah, as, as, uh, as Bailey and, and Naomi fight, she came out and just tore the house down. Uh, I don't know who she is. I forgot. I forget what's her name. Uh, forget what's her name, Warren? What's that? Oh, that's that Tiffany Stratton. Yeah, she was, she, she took out both of them on SmackDown. Yeah. Uh, very interesting here. Um. Uh, now this tag team right here, um, Jade and Bianca Belair, um, I see them being the new tag team champions pretty soon. Oh fuck yeah, they're, they're like Wait, the man. powerhouse. Oh yeah, dude, they are. I mean, I mean, she it, it looks like she has a a, a, a new haircut. Jade. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, she does. Yeah, she. I mean, she she's she's hot though. She she looks hot. Oh god, uh, yeah. I mean, well, both of them. Uh, well, yeah. But yeah, I mean, I can see them as new tag team champions. How do you bone uh, Naomi? Yeah, <laughs> what happened? I said, I'd even bone Naomi. <laughs> but it's funny here on SmackDown. Now, the the picture I just showed was last last week on SmackDown. This is this week, right here, and they're both kind of matching, almost matching uh, together here, as you can see, um, and they both look. I mean, they both look hot either way. Um, uh, do you see that, Warren? Uh, yeah. What's that, Jade yeah. and who else? Uh, it's Jade and Bianca. Oh, okay. There's a the backdrop is really dark. Yeah, it's really yeah, yeah. I w- I, w- I was gonna see if um, let me see if I can put this in. Uh, in solo mode real quick. Uh here we go, full screen. Um you see, you see a little better? That's still black. Oh, I mean you yeah. got two you got two black <laughs> women on a black uh, background. <laughs> whoever whoever came up with that was a goddamn genius. <laughs> oh man. Um that's funny. Um and then next to him was was a damage control. So right here, they're they're both in the same balcony, maybe a couple inches away from each other. Right, yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, that was cool. So I see them the next women's tag team. Now this right here, uh, the new bloodline taking out Kevin Owens right here. Uh, yeah, dude, they're getting more, uh, more old school now. They're going to Hollywood Hulk Hogan doing the Rock with the truck here in WO style. Oh um, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, this was great. Um, Kevin Owens still came out, tried to fight them right here. Uh, he walked out uh, bloody as hell. Um, now, during this time, um, I took a picture of this real quick, but during this time when he walked out, uh, SmackDown television went black and white, which, you know, which is, you know, which it doesn't help, but still knowing he's still bleeding. Right. But it's funny how they go to back, you know, back in the day, going turn, hurry up. Go go to black and white so we don't see the blood. Uh, right, kind of funny, but you know, you know, Kevin Owens as 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 uh, crazy as he is, he goes back in try to fight him, but then, um, <coughs> but uh, their cousin just, dude, his cousin, their their family, the new family, the new bloodline. Um, he's just he he's a he's a whole energized um, wrestler, dude. Like he's just. He has a lot of energy. Uh, oh yeah, going out there, going ham, jumping everybody from behind, or just crashing. Um, but I can't wait to see him fight one on one, though. So I've never seen him fought, even though he. Yeah, you know, it's pretty interesting. 
Yeah, he is. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what's going on on SmackDown. AJ Styles won the fight against Cody Rhodes. Right here, he won against LA Knight. It's kind of sad they're not pushing LA Knight. Uh, yeah. Ho- hopefully, it's not the first or the last we see, see of LA Knight. Um, but this is what I was thinking. They push AJ Styles because this could be maybe his last run here in WWE um, before he retires. Right. So maybe they're just pushing him to have this one good story. But I know he's not going to win the championship, but um, but just good to have that match because I, I was reading that AJ was saying, uh, I, I could be wrong, this is not 100% fact, but I heard on Twitter that uh, hashtag X um, – that this is one of his rematch fighting Cody Rhodes. So mm. um, that it, 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 you know, it is going to be a good match. Um, I think it's going to be a really good pay-per-view regardless of what it is. Um, you know, we see AJ style versus Cody Rhodes, Damian priest versus Jay. I mean, we know Damian priest is going to keep the bout. Um, no. um, unless by some miracle, he okay. loses it by Jay. But who knows? Who knows? I mean, who knows with these pay per views, right? Uh, but I don't see anybody losing shit until SummerSlam. Um, to save, you know, to save the to save the good big winnings at SummerSlam. Yeah. So we'll see there. So AJ won it, and and so um. But yeah, but Raw. This is Chad Gable pretty much talking about, and then dude, the Aprium dude, um, he jumped. Uh, his tag team partner, dude. Uh, yeah, knocked so the out there, fool. huh? He knocked the fish out of him. <laughs> yeah, he did knock the shit out of him. Um, uh, yeah, dude. It was, you know what? I like it. I wonder where the new, the new, uh, the new premium is going for. If they're gonna have, if they're going for a tag team or they're gonna find another member, we'll see. Um, yeah, I like it. I like it. But this right here. This right here, my boy, is a good sight to see. Um, Liv Morgan is being a little dark. Um, I was reading that they they might turn into a little uh, a little love fest here, going a li- um, them being together, just like how mommy was. Oh yeah. So I can see it, dude. Like they make a good couple of uh, storyline couple. Um, but and dude, it's crazy how Dominic Mysterio is looking like Eddie Guerrero with his mustache now. Um, yeah. he has that look, that Eddie Guerrero <laughs> look. Um, but yeah, dude, I see this. I I can see this, this uh, Matt, this uh, couples getting together here. The new, uh, well, not the new, but the new storyline, mommy, uh, of Liv Morgan. Watch me, um. I like it. I see because this was just a stare down. So right. maybe, maybe it's love making in the air right here of them, <laughs> being, uh, of them coming and being the storyline. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, as uh, And then for the battle, women's battle royale, um, it was Becky and Liv Morgan at the end of the day of this match. And oh, okay. But everybody was tripping out that Becky won it and not Liv Morgan. Um, you know, a lot of mixed emotions there. I understand. Um, I mean, maybe Liv Morgan was is not ready yet. Maybe. Um, yeah. So I mean, I can see that. I mean, I can see Liv Morgan needs to be leveled up a little more before she can, you know, be crown champion. Um, I could definitely see her need need to need some work. Um, but yeah, but congratulations to Becky Lynch. Yes. Um, <laughs> what happened? Keep us updated. What happened? Selected Marvin Harrison Jr., Ohio State Buckeyes wide receiver. Fuck yeah! For for what team? For the Cardinals. There you go, everybody. We're good. my boy here, Warren, uh, is watching the draft, so he's gonna keep us updated while we're doing this. Um, so. So stay with us. Um, so right here, here's the here's the available draft pool right here. Um, this is a who's 
Um, Braun Strowman. Uh, Braun Strowman. Wait, is that this uh, this coming week? Uh, actually, yes. Um, Does it, it start is, tomorrow? Well, okay. I got the breakdown right here. So here's the breakdown. So on SmackDown, there will be four rounds, 16, oh, okay. 16 total picks. Um, on on Raw, there will be six rounds, twenty four total picks. Champions on each brand are protected. Um, women's tag team championships are ineligible. Um, and uh, let's see. And uh, SmackDown will pick the first. SmackDown will pick first on Friday. So yeah. Okay. And then, and then Raw will pick the first on Monday. Rosters lock. <laughs> Roster's lock will be Monday on May 6th. So everything will be locked down by May 6th. Um, but yeah, this is the 2024, everybody, WWE draft. Um, but yes, the draft will begin on Friday, April 26th, everybody. So actually tomorrow, tomorrow, everybody will be the yeah. beginning of the draft. So everybody stay tuned on SmackDown. And it will continue on Monday Night Raw on April the 29th. But yeah, so everybody, so we have uh, Braun Strowman, part of D, uh, DIY. Um, shit, there's a lot of people I'm um, having a fucking brain freeze right now. Yeah. Uh, most of these, uh, CM Punk, uh, shit. There's a lot of people I don't fucking know <laughs> by name yet. Um, shit, Damage Control, Drew McIntyre, um, shit. Um... I guess his wife is in the draft too. Damn. Um, their manager, pretty much everybody. Um, uh, Imperium, um, Damian Priest, Dominic, pretty much everybody in the Judgment Day, Kevin Owens, everybody in the LWO, pretty much. Naomi, Natalia, which we barely see, so she could be anywhere. She pops out anywhere she wants. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, Let's see, uh, Kofi, uh, the New Day. Um, I don't know who that black dude is. Uh, the two, uh, the two boys that have like to have the shirts up, like Barbie, don't, or uh, I don't know who they are. Um, what the the who the Fruit Loop group? What happened? <laughs> I, I'm gonna call them the Fruit Loop group. Um, Shashki Nakamura. So yeah, um, the new her business, um, but yeah. So J uh, Ch uh, Jade and pretty much everybody in LWO, um, Rey Mysterio. So yeah, pretty much everybody you see here, everybody is is eligible for uh, the SmackDown draft. Everybody, yeah. um, pretty much. While. Well, our boy Sam didn't hit us up, but um, before we get out of here, um, I was gonna say that Matt Hardy went to um, went to went to TNA. So, oh, so, okay. Yeah. I thought he was going back to WE to like retire. That's what I thought, but he showed up on TNA. Um, oh wow! And, okay. And showed up and showed up as. Um, the crazy, the crazy range, yeah, yeah, the range. Um, he was like, Yes, um, um, shit, um, so, what was his, his name? Yeah, I don't know his name, dude. It began, I think it began with an M. Um, well, shit. I can't think of it, but he was yeah. some, but some lunatic. He's got a hot wife, though. Yeah, but my uh, God, she's gorgeous. Oh, I know. But either way, everybody knows who we're talking about when they watch the show here. Yeah. Um. So yeah, my heart went to TNA. Um. But yeah. So. So I guess that's where he's at for a little while. So only so, drunken Jeff is around, huh? <laughs> I guess. Um. But yeah. But I was gonna. I was gonna shout this out real quick. So there was news going that WWE will be pulling back from Mutt. Uh, from much of the of the virtual reality content uh where every time they came out it was like some kind of uh graphics uh -huh. like, like the viper so they're not going to be doing that anymore um, oh man 
<laughs> I but, thought it was kind of cool. I thought it was, but they could have made them better. They kind of they kind of make it look ghetto. Um, yeah. You know, they kind of make them look better. But you know what? They don't need the graphics. Uh, we, you know, we never need them before. But but I get it. They're trying something new, or Vince was trying something new, or whoever was doing it at the time. Um, but good decision. I mean, it's all right. Um, we don't need the, you know, the graphics uh, coming up of who's coming out. Yeah. Or the, or the symbols. It's all right. Um, but yeah, and I do want to thank WWE 2K24 for give, for the giveaway. Thank you. I do have the unboxing. Please check. Please check my bio here on on my Twitch here on my TikTok or on my YouTube. Uh, Oh, and I put it on Twitter, uh, hashtag on X. I put it on X as well. So thanks. Shout out to WB2K24 for the for the Fortnite pack nightmare yeah. give, giveaway. Thank you guys so much. Uh, uh, that's second time in a row. Second time in a row. Um, I'm blessed. Um, so it's not who you know, it's who you blow. <laughs> uh, but that's all it is. Just give out, you know, just give out a... Just give out, just give out a retweet when they give do giveaways and. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't know, do yeah, because I mean I know you don't go on there anymore because of your favorite uh, Elon Musk screwed you, on your on your uh, Look, on your on your uh, uh, Bitcoin on your Uncle Scrooge on your Uncle uh, Scrooge uh, uh, ten cent coin. Um, <laughs> that fucker. But, <laughs> But yeah, so I mean, it was just a retweet when they were giving out WWE 2K24 and they were doing giveaways, and I was the second second time winner uh, for this year. I won last year, like I told you, Warren. I won an NWO right. hat, and, and you know, an NWO hat, and so I won the freaking Nightmare Pack. So I no. won a. So yeah, so it came with a Cody Rhodes, um. Uh, a Cody Rhodes' uh, Nightmare Claim Your Kingdom with his dog in front of it. Um, oh, cool. And Seth freaking Rollins' um, T-shirt with has his uh, vegetarian yeah. and uh, I can't even say the other word. But him in the front and I, oh, and I got a Cody Rhodes belt um, with it. What? Um, yep. Dude, that belt costs $118. God damn. Uh, but if you want to check out my video more and check it out on my TikTok or on uh, on my YouTube shorts, it's on there. Um, oh, excuse me. Okay. But yeah, go check it out, dude. Everybody, thank you everybody for the lights. I am six followers away, everybody, from a thousand followers on TikTok. Everybody, damn, so almost there, everybody. Thank you everybody for the follows. Uh, keep. Keep following me up on TikTok and on YouTube. I will do keep doing what I'm doing on Fortnite uh, quests. So thank you all for all the followings and uh, thank you all for thank you for all the followings too here on Twitch as well. While I do uh, streaming on W2K24 or Fortnite or here on the podcast, which I think this will be pretty much our home. We'll be on Twitch and then Spotify after this. Uh, no, okay. So yeah, cause um, I can I can upload our stuff more better and faster on YouTube. Um, so yeah, so everybody, if you don't see us here on Twitch, it'll be on Spotify, of course, and it'll be on YouTube as well. So this podcast will still be going on, no matter what. Um, but yeah, hey everybody. But you know what, dude? I think that's pretty much wrapped up. Uh, I'm 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 sad that we didn't get Andreas to come join us. Maybe hopefully. Yeah. Um, Hopefully on the next one, hopefully. Mm. But I'm gonna, this, I'm gonna go in and enjoy my days off here. Hope you enjoy your days off. Um, Every day draft. I'm off. And, uh, <laughs> and I hope you enjoy the draft. Um, oh yeah. But yeah, everybody. Um, you know what you should do too, bro. Um, with your podcast, uh, do uh, do the do the do the draft picks too. That'd be pretty interesting. Yeah. Do the after do the aftermath uh, draft picks and just do that too. Um, Damn, be, that's a it, big boy. It'll be the music corner slash draft picks shout out and and slash chronicles. Uh, <laughs> you oh know, yeah, like, you know since you like football, so I mean I, I you know I think you should you know do the music corner slash NBA um, 
um uh you know uh let me see uh, the music corner slash um nba open talk there you go there you go there you go damn titles long enough they take forever i know right oh man it's getting chilly in here with my uh -oh. you know ac unit uh oh there you go oh you know what oh, you know what it could be the the creator music corner slash um um nba nba talk slash tyler chronicles there you go there you go my lord i had to turn the bad boy off damn Whew. but all right dude we'll, we'll go and get out of here we'll go in and enjoy our days off here i will join mine i will enjoy my days with you know you know with my you know with my little ones here um yeah. i know this i know they still have school but um uh, but yeah we're going to enjoy the day everybody <laughs> everybody i am your host mario with my co-host warren jackson the creator and founder of the music corner slash uh tyler chronicles please go check them out after the show talk about paranormal and talk about music so please go check them out and who knows he might talk about the draft picks who knows go check them out never know anyway. never know whenever so please follow him if you follow him make sure you hit that notification button so whenever he loads up his videos you will get that notification everybody so everybody don't forget uh don't forget to tune in here on Morrow's open talk podcast experience please like subscribe turn on your notifications so whenever our videos go up you will get notified uh, please follow me on my tiktok too as well on my youtube uh, man i still i haven't done a tiktok yet <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. TikTok is where it's at, bro. TikTok is where Man. it's at. Do it before I it gets. Settle, I don't know how or what I would do to start one on there, bro. You have, bro. You have ten minutes. Ten minutes. That's all it is. You get. That's how long you go. Is ten minutes until you go over. Until you get, I think. I'm not mistake. I could. I could be wrong, but I think if you get over. 50 or 100 you can go live oh uh, i could be wrong i could be wrong yeah. it, could be, it could be 300 i could be wrong <laughs> um uh but yes but try to talk man i'm telling you it's more easier they have everything right there um and you can even upload it to spotify if you wanted to um, oh okay so you can do that too if you want yeah because um, because that's what i do after the show i do uh, I, I get I, um, after I chill for a while. I, uh, you know, I download this episode and upload it to Spotify, and then later I'll do it on YouTube. So, oh, okay, very simple. Um, probably takes me like maybe after I do both, it'll be like maybe twenty minutes. Oh, that's not bad. No, that's not bad. Um, but I'll do. Yeah, just whenever. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, whenever you get a chance, try try a TikTok. Uh, and just uh pick a background like you know just like how we do here on the show yeah and you can use it you can use any okay. background you can use any background you want just like how you do right here and talk whatever you're going to talk about and um you can even change your name bro you can change your name on tiktok too you can change um your name to you know warren jackson whatever you want huh? whenever you want warren jackson huh. whatever your your title is going to be or you know what or just put you know, uh, you know Warren Jackson's. Um, that's it. Or you know, you know, or just put Warren Jackson's channel. Very simple. Yeah. Just just put that. Or just put Warren Warren's channel or Warren Jackson's channel. Um, and then whatever just, you wanna. Just just put that, and then on your description, just put whatever, um, whatever your you know like how it is down here, like the creator of Music Corner, and Slash Tanner Chronicles. And I think you can go, I think you can put 500 words down, I think, or 300 words. But you can put, even put that, put your, put your podcast, oh. Spotify uh, title and put whatever you're going to, and you can put more. Like put, I talk about, you know, NFA, uh, I mean, you know, talk about um, NFL picks yeah. or whatever you want. There's a lot that you can put there. You don't have to just put your, your main title on Spotify. You can put whatever you want that you think that you're going to talk about. Oh, okay. So very simple. So um and you know what and uh check and yeah and whatever you record on tiktok 
Um, you can just download it too. Excuse me. Oh, okay. So every time, so every time you upload something, it's gonna save it on your phone automatically. No. Automatically. So you can go in and do that as well, so you don't have to mess with anything so much. So once you record something, yeah, you upload, and once you upload it, you can go ahead and just it'll have it on your phone, and you can upload it to Spotify if you want. Oh wow! Okay. So you can you actually know what you can upload it through the web browser version, not the app version yet. Oh right. So so don't forget to whenever you get time to uh, open the browser, um, uh, the browser version for Spotify and sign in and so when you put a new episode it'll say go ahead and upload a video or whatever you have mm -hmm. when you press upload you pick the video that like say for example if you if you made a TikTok right now if you press upload you can pick the video you did and, and then boom it'll be straight uploaded and once it uploads you can put you know then you do the title and in the episode whatever whatever you're going to put on the information yeah. you need to, that you need to put in before you upload it Oh, okay. But yeah, it sounds like a lot, but um, it's more easier looking at it than me explaining it. So it's way more or less uh, easier while just looking at it. Oh, okay. But yeah, but uh, we'll go ahead out of here, everybody. It's been an hour and 27 minutes. I hope everybody enjoys the show. And I hope everybody enjoys the show when they watch it on Spotify or YouTube. So please rate hey. us. Please rate us on the show. Appreciate it. Remember to follow me. Remember to follow me and follow my boy here, Warren, on, on uh, Spotify uh, at the Music Corner slash Chronicles, Tyler Chronicles, excuse me. And make sure you follow us and please give us some good uh, feedback and rate and please rate our show here, both of our shows. Um, so we'll go ahead and get out of here so we can enjoy <laughs> our day. Right. We'll enjoy our day, everybody. So everybody will get out of here now, please. Uh, please, I'm your host, Mario, um, with my co-host, Warren Jackson. Please follow us on our shows, uh, which is here, Mario's Open Talk Podcast Experience. Uh, excuse me, Mario's Open Talk Podcast Experience. And with my boy here, Warren Jackson, the Music Corner slash uh, Tyler Chronicles. Go check him out on Spotify. And any, and, any, and any information you have on me, it'll be on my bio here on my Twitch and all my links from my TikTok and YouTube are there. So everybody, thank you all for my for my new followers on TikTok and my new subscribers on YouTube. Thank you guys so much. And I'll uh, I'll keep doing what I'm doing. It's, I, I guess it's doing. I guess it's doing great. Thank all of you guys. And we'll see you guys on the next episode. And I'll see you guys on my next uh, Twitch live streams or TikToks. I'll see you guys later. I'm your host tomorrow. My course Warren Jackson. Everybody have a good day. Enjoy the week, everybody. Have a good day. Peace out.